But for our North Country history lesson, we learn about the cigar industry lighting up Ogdensburg in the 19th century. Emily Griffin has the story. Under several layers of dust in Ogdensburg City storage, this old cigar rolling machine is resting after a busy life in the early 1900s. I was looking at some stats and in 1900 there were 39 cigar makers. It all started in the 1840s when a fella named Chauncey Clark moved here and wanted to make extra money selling cigars. Well, that got so popular that he opened his own shop and then he started to train people in how to make cigars. And a lot of the guys that he trained actually opened up their own shops later on. One of those apprentices was John Hannon, who went nationwide with his cigars. The Hannon company actually made a million in one year, a million cigars, and were exporting them. A single worker could roll out more than 200 cigars every day. You know, so these cigars are being sold all over the place and it's really a, an economic boom for the city. But why did cigar making get so big in Ogdensburg, where tobacco was never a popular crop? Ogdensburg was a port city, so we had railroads coming in and out, we had ships coming in and out, so you could get whatever you wanted. Uh, and so they were importing the tobacco. But almost as suddenly as it came in, cigar making left in a puff of smoke. So cigars are being sold in saloons, in bars. When prohibition comes, that's no longer the case. And then, of course, you have the depression. And then finally, people's tastes begin to change. Instead of smoking cigars, they start to smoke cigarettes. And with that, the cigar industry was snuffed out in the city. Emily Griffin, 7 News.